5 30 in the morning and heading over to the shop to pick up an f-250 lariat hooked up to a 10,000 pound trailer and i'm gonna be traveling with another guy driving a second truck to florida this is going to be a test we're gonna be running a the truck that i'll be driving is a bi fuel so it runs on natural gas or gasoline so let's hit the road So this truck here is a 2021 F-250 Lariat. And this truck does run on bi-fuel. So it runs on natural gas or gasoline at a click of a button. This truck here has a smaller tank than usual. And this is a low pressure system where it only at full, at a full tank, it only holds 900 PSI but there is material inside a tank that holds the natural gas and then slowly releases it. So this is an interesting system. It gets to a certain point and it starts blending fuels. So I will actually be recording some data as I go. One of them being a cold start, which it's 70 degrees outside. So it's not like a cold, cold start, but this vehicle has been soaking over the weekend and, uh, you know, we're showing 716 PSI in the tank. So let's get this started. The goal is to see how the, the system switches over on the cold engine. So it always starts on gasoline. That's like a safety feature and then after I think 30 seconds or so it switches over to natural gas if you have any in your tank if not it'll just keep running on gasoline just like any other truck so the truck finally switched over to natural gas it took more than 30 seconds so it may be 60 seconds or so as a safety um, and uh, we need to stop and get some gasoline at some point, probably in South Carolina. And the trip is 632 miles long down to Florida. So let's hit the road and um, have a safe trip. Start blending and 
the way it blends, you can't even tell the difference. Like, you don't know what fuel you're running on, you know? And the, that button over there will always show that you're on natural gas until the tank is completely empty. So, as far as towing goes, I'm towing that 10,000 pound trailer in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't feel it. It's a 6.2 V8. 2021 F250 Lariat, you know, it's smooth, it's very smooth, and we're about to do a test going up and down the hills right before South Carolina, so it's going to be kind of good, so let's continue. Also, another interesting thing about this system is once, once you switch over to blending, right, because you're going up a hill or something like I am with the trailer, it starts blending because, it, you know, the system sees that there's not enough rail pressure on CNG, so it switches over to blending mode. And then, if you come to, like, a city driving or an idle, it'll switch back to CNG if it thinks it's safe. Like, if there's enough pressure at the rail, it'll switch back over to CNG. So that's why you're able to drain the whole tank completely to zero or very close to zero. I mean, I've heard that you can even go into the negatives, but I just, I don't think I've seen it yet. So, first stop, South Carolina. We're gonna get some gasoline and continue this trip. this 900 psi tank i'm still able to fill out at 3600 psi stations because there's an extra step down regulator so it feeds 3600 but the regulator only fills the tank at 900 and stops the pump automatically so that's kind of cool
tank of gasoline. Uh, right now the truck is blending and uh, I don't take many trips to Florida on natural gas so I don't know where the fuel stations are by heart but luckily there's an app called Alt Fuel and you're able to search for fuel stations as you go. Like right now there's a station coming up uh, just uh, in Spartanburg, South Carolina area and I don't think I will make the stop there because I'm still blending. I want to record um, the blending part of this travel. But there is a station in Savannah, Georgia. Looks like there's only one. I will make a stop there because then we're gonna be um, at sea level there. So I will fill up natural gas and keep recording after that. So if you are looking for natural gas as you're traveling, just uh, check out this app. It's called Alt Fuel, and uh, it works great. You can see if the stations open the public. You can see if it's a 3600 psi, which most of them are. There's some older stations that still have 3000 psi, and the nozzles are different. So you make sure that if you got a 3600 psi system, that you are filling up at the correct place. Otherwise, you can't even connect to the receptacle. So. Uh, you just you can't go wrong but so looks like the one in savannah is open to public it is open 24 hours a day and they accept credit cards and stuff like that so i'm gonna see if i can make a stop there and fill up and continue this trip to florida some tires right there. There's three tires in the back of this truck. I wonder if he's clearing bridges fine. It looks pretty tall. Later. 